Hello guys, this is Amos Style Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play this granny song called Get Away From Me. It's a very catchy motive in the chorus section. It goes like this, give you a preview before we start learning it. Check it out. Yes. Let's get right into it. So melody and chords, that's what we're going to learn because that's the foundation of a song. From that, you can add all these improvisations like that afterwards, okay? So here we go. Let's break it up into uh, four parts, so it's easy to learn. First part goes like this, Ryan starts on the G here, so middle C, go up an octave C, G here. So it goes G, F, G, F, G, G, F, G, G, B, G, F, and that's it for the first part for the right hand. Let's do it again, so it goes like this, so G, F, G, F, G, G, F, G, G, B, G, F. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are C minor, which is C, E flat, G. And the second chord is the first inversion of G major, which is B, D, G. All right, so with these two chords in mind, so C minor and first inversion G major. Two hands together goes like this, G and C minor together. Half a G, first inversion by itself. Right continues. Like that. One more time, so it goes like this. So it goes together. That's it for the first part. Once you get that moving on to the second part, right hand continues, goes E flat down to C, up to G, A flat, G, F, E flat, C, E flat, F. That's it for the second part for the right hand. Let's do it again. So it goes like this, E flat, C, up to G, A flat, G, F, E flat, C, E flat, F. That's it for the right hand. Once you get that left hand, we have two chords here for the second part. The two chords are F minor, which is F, A flat, C, and the second chord is G major, which is G, B, D. So with these two chords in mind, so F minor and G major, two hands together goes like this, E flat and F minor together. E flat and G major together. Like that, and that's it for the second part. Let's do it again, so it goes like this, together. Together. That's it for the second part. Once you get that, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this, check it out, so it goes. That's it, moving on to the third part. The third part is actually exactly the same as the first part, so woohoo, we just saved some time, we don't have to learn that again. So third part exactly the same as the first part, so back to... Like that. Okay, so moving on to the... Uh, before we do that, we'll uh, recap the three parts of blunt so far, so you can see how it's all pieced together, so like this. to the fourth and last part, Ryan continues, goes E flat down to C, up to F, G, F, G, and then five more Gs. Like that. Da, 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 like that. Okay, so one more time for the right hand for this fourth and last part. So it goes E flat down to C, up to F, G, F, G, 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 like that. Okay, that's it for the right hand. Once you get that left, so we have the same two chords as the second part. So if you record that, that's F minor, which is F, A flat, C, and then the second chord is G major, which is G, B, D. Alright, so with these two chords in mind, so F minor and G major, two ends together goes like this, E flat and F minor together, so together, of the G, G major by itself, right continues, like that, one more time, so it goes like this, it goes together, here, like that, and there you have it for the fourth and last part, so back to back, all four parts will be played like this, check it out. Alright, so 
once you get the melody and chords of this all good, you can start to add other improvisations and decorations to make it more awesome. For example, for the left hand chords, you can do like an octave bass note followed by a banjo pattern, rhythmic pattern. That kind of thing, okay? And right hand, you can harmonize the bass on the chords to make it thicker in texture. So you can do something like this, check it out. stuff very catchy okay so i hope you enjoyed this lesson if you did make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally i have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos for you to enjoy and learn from so most likely you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel anyway also check out my website bestpianomethod.com linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me learn how to play by ER, improvise read sheet music play and sing and a lot of other cool stuff so make sure to check that out as for now enjoy time around my channel and see you next time. Tell me in the comments what you want me to cover or teach next, or use my services to guarantee a priority custom song request. For more information on all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music and books, check out the links in the description or visit my website bestpianomethod.com.